Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Trails of Cold Steel. Today, well, we got probably a bunch more people to talk to. Then we got a couple of side quests. Well, we got a side quest to do and a couple of main quests. There's a lot of people. All right, so I'm not going to go to the main building just yet. I definitely want to save the red required uh, quests until the very end. It's probably something we can actually like just take all at once and... Uh, do them along the way, but I don't want a chance accidentally advancing time for a little bit and Yeah, you know, just kind of be sure I can actually at least on my first day talk to everyone like on screen Maybe in the future free days I can talk to everyone but like off screen. We already went through all the books here. So unless something new shows up Which we already read that one I'll check there again every once in a while I mean, I'm sure new books are actually going to show up, but at the same time, we just did it, so I'm assuming that they haven't. So, hello. Scribble, scribble. How about we play Scrabble? Scrabble's good. Actually, I used to really like Words with Friends. And I actually won fairly often, too, against the people I uh, played against, which is shocking, given, given my illiteracy. Where is Colette? There is Colette. Hello. Pardon, you're Colette from class four, right? I believe you submitted a request to the student council? Yeah, I did, but you're that guy from class seven. Did you join the student council when I wasn't looking? Nothing like that. I just decided to help them out with some of their work. The student council president told me to handle your request. Oh, so that's how it is. Wow, we're both first years, but you seem so much more grown up than me. The people of Class 7 must be amazing. <laughs> it's no big deal. Uh, so you wrote that you need help looking for your student handbook. Notebook. Yeah, I've been looking everywhere I could since uh, could think of since this morning, but there's no sign of it. So does that mean they're, you're going to start looking right away? They said if one person wasn't able to help me, they'd send someone else to do it. I see, so that's how Toa has this all arranged. Well, accept the request. Right, uh, sure, you can count on me. Really? Thank you so much! Before we get uh, before we get too excited, I think I need a bit more information on... Uh, to have any hope of finding it. Can you tell me when you first noticed your, you've dropped your notebook? It was right at the school yesterday when I went to borrow a book from the library. You can't borrow books without your notebook, so I went to take it out, so and I couldn't, and I couldn't because it was, wasn't there. Yesterday after school, got it. So when was the last time you remember having it? Probably right after class, uh, right uh, when classes had finished for the day yesterday, when I was still in the classroom. I remember using it to take notes while, notes while I was talking with my friends, so I definitely had it then. I guess I must have dropped it somewhere between my classroom and the library. I see, that narrows it down quite a bit. Did you stop anywhere along uh, on your way to the library, though? Well, after I left the main building, I came here to the student union. Pretty sure I went to the library after that. That should be everywhere I went. Right, so there really aren't that many places you could have dropped it. The best way to go about this seems to be split up and search the main building and the area surrounding it, I think. Yeah, that's just what I was going to do, uh, going to ask you to do, actually. I was hoping, I'm hoping it's there, because I searched the library from top to bottom this morning, and the rooftop's out, because the janitor said it didn't. he didn't notice it when he was doing his morning cleaning rounds. Main building it is, then. So do you think I should start with the classrooms? No, I don't think you need to check them out. I uh, check them at all. I searched my classroom yesterday and didn't go into any of the others. It's probably a good idea to focus on the halls and the rest areas in there. I have a feeling that if it's in the main building, it's going to be on the second floor somewhere. Okay. Thanks for the info. I'll head over there and take a look around. You can stay here in the student union and keep you up your search. Okay, so second floor, main building. We'll get there in a minute. Now, yeah, can you uh, talk to me or sell me anything? What do you sell, anyway? It's uh, just food. Okay, well, I have no money because I bought a lot of books. I guess I could open those books, right? Use? Oh, okay. Chat with... Oh! Yo! Dude, that's cool! I did not think that... Okay. No, that's good. I thought it was actually going to be more lore stuff that's pretty dope all right cool 
we'll just go through all these items then. We gotta finish, uh, not finish, we gotta fish at the, uh, whatchamacall, the pond here in the school. Oh wait, did we, we can't read that. Can't read that. Okay, interesting, sure. Oh yeah, we already talked to you and, oh, there's you. I'll eat something when I'm hungry, dog. Though I guess you're supposed to, like, eat stuff when... On, like, a timely manner or something like that, right? Talk. Right, I gotta go investigate the, uh, schoolhouse. We already have one of those. You sell starting equipment, huh? We have one of those as well. Hmm. I mean, they... they there is better equipment in the, the town. Which... You know. Oh, hi, Emma. Oh, you're gonna be writing? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna be going to the old school probably today. If we can finish up talking to everyone and, um... Get through this quest, which I'm assuming is not gonna be too bad. It's locked. Gone fishing, Kenneth. It's actually... <laughs> yeah, oh, dog, I didn't even see you there. I saw you on the map, but I couldn't see you sitting there for some reason. I mean, I'll play against you in chess. I don't know if I'll win, but I'll play against you. I like chess. It's all right. I haven't played in a long time. I, I just played it with, uh, back in the day. Oh, uh, pictures of cute girls, huh? I played it against, like, a buddy of mine growing up and his dad. And his mom a few times, actually. No one else really played. We actually didn't even have a chess club in school, now that I think about it. I know that's kind of like a a trope in a lot of uh, stories and stuff like that, but I've actually never talked to anyone from a chess club. I right, see you, to Toa. Good luck in Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Though I guess you're in Fusions as well. And the online game that never came to America. Though I guess there is a translation for it. Though it's like, it's like on a Korean server or something like that? I don't know. I might have shut down by now, I'd imagine. So, we already been to the gymnasium. Where's the lake? Is that the lake over there? No, this is a greenhouse. Oh no, that is the lake. No, you said pond! What did she grab? Oh, the worm? <laughs> Sounds like she just killed the worm. Uh, talk. No, I, I'm gonna fish, don't worry. What do you have? Yo, that's... Not bad. Accuracy 25%. Huh. And 100 HP and mute. Mute's probably good. So maybe I'd buy sort I don't know. I don't want to waste too many of my points, right? Especially if there's going to be better stuff as we go along. Uh, fish. Oh, I should definitely have saved just in case. Oh, I get... Wait a minute. Oh! So I can fish five times here. Not bad. Oh, damn. Hopefully I didn't screw up the other area. I thought that was like five times in a day. Shoot. Oh, why? There we go. Not bad. Oh, we caught a crab. Yeah, okay. Hopefully I didn't mess that up in the other area then. Maybe hopefully I can go back and fish three more times. That's another crab. So you do get a bunch of points on the first thing you catch, though, too. From the looks of it. Oh, nice. Alright, so it looks like, yeah, they, it kept, kept the other fishing points back here. That's good, because, like, I really didn't want to screw up my fishing on the first, well, attempts. 
Oh, that's cool. Man. Okay. So I gotta remember that in the future. Shouldn't be too hard to remember, really. I am tempted of buying this, but I, th I think I'm gonna wait for now. And maybe until I get my first, like, uh, fishing rank up and see what else he gets. Because, I don't know. It's like, I don't want to waste, not waste the points, but I don't want to... No, it's true. I don't want to waste the points. I want to be able to buy something really good if it becomes available. And that, that accessory right now, it's not bad. It's just one of those things like, it could be better. Or there could be better. He likes horses, does he? Or does he like the girl? No, oh, he likes horses. Okay. I never rid a horse. Uh, no, that's not true. I've ridden a horse when I was very, very young. It was with someone else. I have a friend that she uh, she used to ride horses all the time. I don't know. I don't really remember it that much. So uh, it was I was very young when I uh, was brought on that ride. Hello, purple head people. Your big hearted brother will be what? Don't be weird. Okay, cool. Is this Ferris, the, the purple head lady? Being pested by a comrade is not quite simply not an wait, what? Being pested by a comrade is quite simply not an option. Okay, well, you're gonna lose. I mean, I kind of wish we could play lacrosse, too, but I guess it's a girl's only club, huh? Yeah, well, that's fine. What's over here? It's a gate. Gate's locked. Okay, so I think that's... everyone. Sure, let's go to the main building, then. Yeah, we talked to everyone. Now it's time to go to the main building and make sure we don't, like, screw it up. Let's see. There's a quest down there. We're gonna... We'll, we'll talk to the first four people after we finish up here. So she said she dropped it on the second floor. Or maybe dropped it on the second floor. Hopefully, the spot's obvious, right? Though, it might not be. She said don't worry about checking the classroom. But I'm gonna come here in any way. It's just to talk to people. I think we'll we'll hang out with Micaias as well. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do Micaias' bonding event. I'm, I'm assuming we're gonna have enough to really, uh... Go over at least everyone's basic stuff. We probably won't have enough bonding events to go over everyone's stuff, huh? Okay. Do you? Always do you. Though being knowing how to cook actually is pretty awesome. Um I I know how to cook. I don't exactly like it though. It could be worse. Though I do all the cooking. <laughs> all the cooking. Probably we can't hang out with guys, but I guess he does have his, his club stuff going on right now. Oh, right, this is the instructor, right? She is quite unique. I don't know... I don't know, having that hairdo looks like it would hurt. Maybe because it's, I'm a guy, and I've never had my hair done that way. I don't know. I've seen some hairdos where I'm just like, that seems just extremely painful and taking takes a lot of time to do. I want to go to the computer room. So we haven't seen a book anywhere yet. That's a little worrying. She did say it was going to be on the the second floor. Most likely second floor. Is this not considered the second floor? No, it says second floor. I actually think we're going to be able to go in here. So I see no glowy bits. No exclamation points. Huh, okay. Maybe it's on the first floor? I don't know. So 
It's really not... I was really hoping it was going to be easier to find than this. To be honest. Huh. She said it wasn't going to be on the roof. Because the janitor already checked it out. But he might have messed up his job? I don't know the guy, so I can't really say for sure if he's really good at his job or not. But it doesn't seem like it's up here, so... That's good. I've talked to everyone. I guess first floor it is. And I'll go in here first. And we'll pick up the other quest while we're here. Oh, you're the nurse. Yeah, right. It's actually not a bad nurse's office. Do you have any school books in here or anything like that? No? Hmm, okay. You're a weird looking dude. Are you related to Emma at all? Just asking, really. This is the principal. Oh wait, no, that's the vice principal, isn't it? Yeah. Just probably lost again. Should we find her? Like... What, Sarah? Oh, shut up. She's fine. I mean, he does have a point, but at the same time, shut up. She's nice. You want me to go look for mint? What's that? For oh my god, smoking in a video game in this day and age? Rated M now. Actually, I don't know what the game's rated. Uh, Leonhart Metals. Huh. Well, pause the screen if you want to read it. Um, I will read it off screen a little bit later. Medal of Friendship. Word by Instructor Mary. Oh, what are these medals in the school? Oh, I hope I get all these medals then. Huh, Wait, what was that? I want to read that one right now. All three. Oh, okay, cool. That's, I was kind of hoping that was going to be the book. We're going to talk to him in a second. Dude, do you have any student notebooks on you or anything like that? All right. Hey, man. Excuse me, Principal? I'm Reen Swizzer from Class 7. Ah, good, good. I've been waiting for you. He looks even bigger up close than he did at the entrance ceremony. He must be, what, two args tall? Toa tells me you've accepted my request. I truly appreciate you taking time out of your free day to assist me in this. Uh, that's no problem, sir. Uh, so, you're looking for someone to further investigate the underground area of the old schoolhouse? Precisely. I couldn't have found a better man for the job, considering your class was down there so recently. Incidentally, this was it was Sarah who insisted on making us uh, making use of the trapdoor, not me. I probably should have tried to stop her. However, please do accept my apologies. Oh, uh, not at all, sir. We have no re you have no reason to apologize. I mean, yeah, you do. You could have broken my legs. Kind of figured. Uh, I kind of already figured she was behind it, anyways. I mean, it's danced reason. Getting back to the matter at hand, there are a number of interesting stories regarding the old schoolhouse. That gargoyle you fought, the other, uh, you fought is just a drop in the bucket, all told. Now that you mention it, I did get a distinct impression while fighting it that it was not or, no ordinary monster. It was almost as if, indeed, almost as if it weren't a monster at all, but a demon. Perhaps the word fiend might fit? In our experience, if left alone, it will always regenerate its its original statue from eventually. Wait, in our experience, if left alone, it will always regenerate to its original statue form eventually. Really? Yes, as a result, the arrow has long been used by students to test its uh, and test its strength. But in the past year, many strange alterations have begun occurring there. I've received reports ranging from from doors appearing out of nowhere to strange and eerie voices from the darkness. I see. So you'd like me to go and investigate whether there's any truth to these reports then? If possible, yes. Specifically, I would like you to walk through the underground area and check for any significant changes since last month. 
A test for which you are uniquely qualified, given your prior experience down there. I suppose that's true, and I'd be happy to undertake this mission. Although, if that gargoyle has regenerated, things could get a little tricky. If that turns out to be the case, I would have no objections at, you, uh, at all to you turning back. I should also stress that I'm making this request to Class 7 as a whole. By all means, do you ask your classmates for assistance? I'm certain... I, I'm, cer I'm certainly not expecting you to go it alone. Oh, understood, I'll do just that. Splendid. I believe you'll be needing this, then. Old schoolhouse key. Alright. It's the key to the front door of the schoolhouse. Best of luck to you, and please be safe. Thank you, sir. Alright, so I'm assuming I can go talk to party members then and have them join me. I know in the menu here, it only lists two of them, so maybe they're the only two that I can take. Hmm. I don't know. I hope not. I'd rather use some other people that we haven't really had a chance to use. Wait, are you serious? Is this really the end? Where the hell's the book? Quests. The main building focus on the courier in the rest area. That's on the second floor, but we'll see. This is the main building, yes? Yeah! And I see no glowy bits anywhere. Ah, oh, crap. I probably ran by a glowy bit or something and I just didn't see it. Alright, I guess I will go ahead and scour this area until I find it, hopefully. That's not it, is it? That's it?! Oh my god! That should be it. But I should check the inside just to be sure. Reen picked up the student notebook. God damn it. Unless there's another identical Colette running around, this is the one. She'll be happy to see it. I should get it to her as soon as I can. God damn it, really? That's... That was... I mean, I'm glad I decided to zoom in to the character, look around, and by zoom in I mean just go like, do this, because I thought maybe it was going to be on the ground somewhere. Did you find it? Yeah, assuming this is your actual notebook, why don't you check, the just, uh, check it just to be sure? But thanks! You're right, it's really mine! Oh, thank goodness! This is the only form of ID we students have, so it wouldn't- it would have been awful if I had lost it. Especially since our instructor would have chewed my head off if I needed to get another one issued. Thanks so much for your help, Reen. <laughs> Sniffle, I'm sorry, I just- I'm just so relieved. I didn't know it was so important to you. Uh, still, I'm glad I was able to help you. By the way, where did you end up finding it? Oh, it was on the sofa on the second floor of the main building that people use as the rest of the area. It was, uh, it was on one of those, sort of in the gap between the cushions, or just on top of it. The sofa's on the second floor? Oh, I guess I did relax it for a while. Come to think of it, I think I've dropped it when I was sitting down once before. I, I heard it falling from my pocket that time, though, so I didn't end up losing it. Why would sitting down do that? Huh. What pockets do you usually put your notebook in? Oh, one of my skirt pockets, usually. That makes sense, a lot of the boys use their pants pockets, too. But you might want to try using your jacket pocket from now on. It's not if it's not going to fall out of there. I mean it might. That that's where I usually put mine, and I've never had any problems. Jacket pocket? We've we've got those? Well, I don't know if the girls' jackets are different than the guys are, but I don't see why they why you wouldn't. Hold on, let me check. Oh wow, you're right, I had no idea that, they, that these were even here. There's no way my notebook will ever fall out of these. Thanks for the tip. That should solve all my pocket problems. <laughs> Happy to be of better service. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I just I find this really amusing. You've you've really been a big help today. You this really doesn't make up for it. But would you accept this as a little token, of my thanks? Silver chain. All right, an accessory. Hold on, I couldn't possibly. Uh, don't worry about it. I bought one of uh, one for myself the other day, but I ended up ordering two by mistake. 
I can't really use both of them both at once, so it makes sense to give it to someone else who might be able to do something with it. Can we not have the same accessories on twice? That stinks. <laughs> well, if you're sure, thanks. Hey, that's my line. Well, thanks again for everything, Reen. All right. So, let's equip that. Prince Poison and 10 Defense. Nice. So there's one more quest for us to grab. And then we'll probably go hang out with Micaius. It's down here. Yeah. And we gained 4 AP for that. Okay. Sure. I thought that was a big hole in the texture. Got anything here that I can steal? Anything really tiny on a sofa, maybe? Hi, how's it going? Hey there, good to see ya. Oh, you're the person who was with President Toa, to Toa when I first arrived at the Academy. You got a good memory. George. Hi, George. I'm George, second year class three. I've heard, I'm also head of the engineering club. You're Reen Sorja from Class 7, right? Nice to meet you. Likewise. Toa told me that you were helping out the student council. You've probably got a lot to learn about the academy since you just enrolled. But good luck with everything. Thank you very much. But I'm curious. This is the engineering building, isn't it? With all the machines and equipment around here, it certainly fits the bill. Yep, you can basically think of this as the academy's very own ultimate factory. The Engineering Club has been in charge of maintaining orbits here for a long time now. Wow, that's pretty impressive. I assume you repaired all the stuff you wanted me to deliver for this request, right, too? That's right, I handle that stuff here at the Engineering Club, too. I usually do them myself, but I'm a little too busy this month. Can I ask you to do it for me? Of course. So what do you... what do I need to know? Awesome, here's the rundown. As you know, I need you to deliver three orb products for me. First up is the orbital scale which I need delivered to the cooking club. The club meets in the home economics room on the second floor of the main building. Give it to the head of the class, Nicholas. Nicholas from the cooking club. Home economics room. Okay, got it. Next two are both in town. So you also take requests from people outside of the academy too? Yeah, these were so much, there was so much talk about the club that I started getting requests from people in Trista too. There's no reason for me to refuse them, so I do as much as I can to help them out. That certainly explains how you ended up so busy. Ha, <laughs> sure does. The second delivery I need to make is this antique orbital lamp. Uh, this one goes to Mitch at the pawn shop. You'll find it at the southeast part of the... I already know where it is, dog. It's kind of out of the way, so keep an eye out. I've been there before. An antique orbital lamp for the pawn shop. Understood. Last but not least, the final item I need to deliver is this oval wristwatch. This one's going to Michael over the radio. Uh, radio Trista. Radio Trista, I already been there, so I know where to go. We'll probably just go there, fast travel there, right? Let's uh, just let the receptionist know you're there, and she'll call Michael uh, Michael out for you. An noble witch, a rich watch for Michael from Radio Trista. Ask the receptionist. All right, I can do that. That's everything. Let me give you the items myself. So it's actually not that hard of a quest. I guess we can do this before we go to Macias. Sure, I will report to you when I'm done. In fact, I'm just going to teleport to... I think the home economic room is on the first floor. In there? No. That's fencing. No, it's got to be on the, the second floor then. In here? No. Wait a minute. Oh, there. It's literally marked on my map. Here you go, dog. Hey there, you wouldn't happen to be here to join the cooking club, would you? Nope. I have a scale for you. I mean, you could have always just bought another one, I guess. Huh. Okay. That's neat. I mean, that's usually how it works, isn't it? Oh, are you going to teach me how to cook? I'm assuming this is how we unlock cooking, right? 
Oh man. <sighs> Which means you're as virgin as my olive oil. Oh my god. It's like. I don't know. I was gonna say it's like the worst pickup line, but I guess you're not trying to pick me up, right? All right, I, I, yeah, I know, cooking is good. Let me go drop off the wristwatch and the stuff. So when you can out, view the recipe tab. So I'm assuming we can eat food then and uh, then cook it in the future. Okay, that seems very similar to the, oh, what's this? Likely to produce a unique dish, only displayed after this dish has been made once. Okay. Oh, so there's quality to it. Hmm, okay. Sure. Sounds good. Now, next up, we want to go to... Uh, do 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 the pawn shop. And be like, yo, dog, what up? Yeah, I got some business here, kid. I mean, you're not a kid, you're like an old man, but I got this thing for you. I don't know what you could possibly be unlocking for me, though. Oh, someone pawned it to you, you paid for it, and it broke. That seems like... Yeah, that seems about right, to be quite honest. I mean, we've already been here, so... Black deck? Oh, blade deck. That's oh, a card game. Oh, no, it's a card game? Is it as good as, like, Final Fantasy VIII's card game? Hmm. You can now purchase... Cards. Curios, whatever the hell they're called. Oh, okay. I'll play that later in the game. It's just... Oh, the items on offer will change each time you enter the store? Oh. Okay. I'm not buying any of those. I, I can't, because, like, I can't afford them. I like how he's selling them for like eight hundred dollars, but I can only sell mine for a hundred. That's rude. So if I just kept like coming in and exiting, then uh, I'd get like better stuff, maybe. Can I not fast travel to the the radio store? And by radio store, I mean the radio place. Hi. I mean, you can take this watch off me. You look a bit rugged. I mean, yeah, that's why you gave it to him to fix it up. Of course he fixed it. I guess he could have maybe told you it was unfixable or something. Huh. So 9 o'clock at night, the radio starts? Dude, that's pretty sad if this job's the entirety of your life. I mean, it's it's one thing to be like, you know, dedicated to your work, but you gotta have other things in life that you, you appreciate and do. We should go tell George, but I'm gonna go hang out with Micaias first. And hopefully I can, and I didn't mess it up by, uh, taking that quest. <laughs> he is dedicated to his studies, isn't he? Maybe this would be a good chance to get that on. Yeah, yeah, do it. Mind if I join you? Not at all. I was th just thinking about taking a break myself. Go ahead and order something. I don't really have that much money. Can you pay for it? 
Sip? Well, this isn't awkward at all. You can tell this calf uses some high-quality beans for its coffee. There's a rich flavor behind the initial bitterness, and the fragrance is utterly fantastic. I take it you're pretty knowledgeable when it comes to coffee, then. <laughs> Mainly due to my dad, but he's he's been drinking it as long as I can remember. Thanks to him, I started drinking it while I was studying, which gradually gave me a taste for it. Ah, that explains it. It actually makes me curious about the kind of person Governor Ragnitz is. Speaking of which, is that tea I see you drinking? It is. I'm way more used to tea than I am coffee. The tea is nice and relaxing, too. I'm not sure I'll ever understand the appeal. It doesn't help that I always associate it with nobles. In fact, I saw one particularly irritating noble arrogantly sipping away at tea at the other tea the other day. Ah, uh, that couldn't be anyone other than Eustace. And how do you sip arrogantly? Um, sorry, I didn't mean to rant. I didn't mean to sound like I was judging you or anything. I mean, you're not even a noble. <laughs> don't worry about it. Uh, why don't you give it a try though? You might actually end up liking it. I guess I could. You should try some of the, my coffee too, then. They each pour some of their, other, their some of their drink into the other's cup from their. Ooh, wait! You're mixing them? Don't mix them. Mixing them is bad. That oh oh! I can't even imagine that. That sounds awful. You are right. This isn't so bad. <laughs> Glad to hear it. I might actually consider having some coffee next time. I'm really studying. <laughs> keep you uh, keeps you sharp between the ears. Why don't the two of us study here sometime then? Sounds like a plan. And thus the two finished their drinks and chatted together for a while. Okay, so now I need to form a party. Oh no, actually, you know what? No, let's go back to the engineering club and turn in this quest. Hey, dog. Oh, hey, seems you're done with those deliveries. All three of them. Nice work. So now that you're finished delivering those, what do you think of this place? Uh, think of the places you deliver them. I mean, I've been there before, but, you know, yeah, they're all certainly unique. Might uh, have wandered into the home economics room eventually, but not the pawn shop or the radio station. We've been there multiple times! Okay, multiple, multiple times is not maybe accurate. We've been to the pawn shop at least twice, though. Actually, we've been to the radio shop twice, too. So, yeah. I don't actually get why we wouldn't... Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Yeah, we don't have a radio, though. Are you going to give me a radio? And I can turn into the old... Well, okay. I wonder if that's going to be like an optional thing we can do at night. Huh. Can I buy some orbments from you? Ooh, can you unlock some orbment slots for me? Okay, so, okay, so yeah, you do the maintenance for the Arcus units. Sure. I don't feel bad adding to his workload at all, actually. Oh, what was that about Seventh Math? Yeah, so you do need that? Okay. Okay. Oh! Sure, okay. So you're telling me that I can just sell them. So yeah, there's no point in holding on to them. Go so go ahead and sell them if you find any. A little extra money never hurt anyone. Yeah, sounds like a good deal. I thought he was gonna tell me we could use it to attract Septith out of it first, but Yeah, if we can just sell it, great. Uh, at factories you can use Septith's unlock slots for your party's ornaments. Sweet. At factories, you can use something to synthesize quartz. Awesome. Uh, you can use U-material to customize your weapons at an orbital factory. Oh! Oh! 
okay. Uh, furthermore, Septith masks can now be exchanged for Mera within any shop exchange menu. Regular Septith can be exchanged too, but do remember that there's also there are also used for synthesizing quartz and unlocking slots. Yeah, I would never I would never exchange those. Masses, on the other hand, are useless and thus can be freely exchanged for Mera. So I can upgrade my weapons. Hmm. And we can exchange these, but I don't want to do that. So I can take this off. No, I can't. I cannot unequip my weapon? That sucks. Hmm, okay. I'm thinking, what's cover? What the hell is this? Interesting. I don't... <laughs> I don't... What? Oh, uh, this is just the equip menu? Slots. How much do these cost? I mean... i probably open one of these, right? Because they only cost 40? Yeah, why wouldn't I open these? They're only 40. I'm not sure if the line really matters. Oh, and that one costs 140. Oh, that one costs 200. Oh man, okay. Hmm. I'm thinking. So that one costs eighty. But it's 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 Earth. I'm not sure how I want to handle these. I know in uh, Trails in the Sky, I uh, unlocked pretty much all on the main characters and would focus on any caster afterward. But this is going to be a little bit different, I feel like. Yeah. I mean, I should probably open one on you. Yours is going to cost a lot, so we'll open this one down there. And you, you are good to, I think, just be... Maybe get your one here. And we come over here. Oh, it'll cost 100 You can make one of these. I'm probably giving it to uh uh Gaius would probably be better. So I cannot just oh, I can zoom in. Also starts turbo mode. That's kind of hilarious. Okay, so we can remove armor but not weapons. So I'd have to buy another weapon in order to upgrade this one. Really? That's weird. Oh, I can just... So I can just upgrade this one, even though it says I have zero out of one over there, but I have one equipped. Um, I'm not sure if I want to upgrade this one just yet. Uh, we'll worry about that next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you have my video section, check out some of the content, see if it's true you're liking. If you're into watching my live stream, go to twitch.tv slash Kodos, please give my channel a follow to be notified when I go live. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day.